Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There we are. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Uh, my name is John Horn of the Los Angeles Times. I'm going to lead a little bit of the Q&A, and then we'll turn it over to you guys. Um, so I'd like to introduce the cast and filmmakers behind August Osage County, starting with Dermot Mulrooney. Go all the way across. Juliette Lewis. Julianne Nicholson. Julia Roberts. Meryl Streep. John Wells. Margot Martindale. Chris Cooper. Abigail Breslin. And Tracy Letts. Uh, I'm going to start with John Wells. Um, people who have seen the play will probably remember that it's a, a three-story set. The scenic design kind of reinforces the claustrophobia of this family kind of living atop each other. In adapting a play and, and bringing it somewhat taken in a cinematic direction, how do you retain that, the claustrophobia that is so inherently theatrical to the play and still open it up a little bit? You know, um, I'm from the plains outside of, uh, of Denver in Colorado. And uh, one of the things that happens is that you're in homes. We found this beautiful home that we purchased in, uh, in Osage County in Oklahoma. One of the things that happens is there's actually, it's quite claustrophobic to be out in these small, in these small homes in the middle of these vast uh, landscapes. And so what we're trying to do is to give that same sense of having this uh, very claustrophobic place where everyone is, is uh, stuck uh, and a long ways away from everything else and to try and do that to, to match the necessary sort of claustrophobia of the home. Uh, so we spent a lot of time talking about that, actually. Uh, Tracy, in talking to John about how you're going to adapt this play, it's obviously a three-act play and it has to be squeezed a little bit. Do you look at scenes? Do you look at favorite dialogue? Do you look at overall thematic arcs in terms of trying to compress the play down into screenplay form? What are the conversations you have about what stays and what goes? We try not to begin the conversation with just talking about what can we lose, where can we cut. We, we try to begin a more general conversation about how can we tell this story uh, with pictures. Uh, where will pictures substitute for words without losing so many of the things that made August Osage County uh, August Osage County to begin with, uh, so much of the language uh, and a lot of the humor. So we just tried to find a, a a visual language, a visual flow and dynamism to the piece, a, a cinematic version of the story. And then eventually you get to the point where you are doing some, some, some painful cutting, losing, losing some material that I was loath to lose, but uh, uh, that's, that's the process. Were there specific scenes that you clung on to until the very end, or scenes that were shot that didn't make the finished film? Sure, yeah, there, and there always are, I, I think, uh, in, in any film, that that's the, those are some of the painful decisions you're making in the eleventh hour in the editing room. So yeah, there were specific things that I that I hated to lose. But the truth is that the play exists as the play and always will. And the movie is its own very distinct, uh, self-contained animal. And I think uh, successful in that regard. I have a question for uh, Chris. Chris, we know what it's like to, to watch Merrill act. As an actor, what is it like to watch Merrill act? And what are those, especially the, the big kind of showy scenes when you're in a room with an actor like Meryl Streep, how is it for other actors to work? He's the only one I've done a nude scene with. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> Lucky so Chris. Far. So far. <laughs> and she's a, she's a master at it all. <laughs> no. But I, I mean that sincerely. We, uh, we do our best to act along with her, but um, I keep having this um, fantasy of in, but this is, but this is the setting where you, where you talk about the whole process, and, and I thought in terms of like a Charlie Rose or whatever, where you talk about um, acting and 
feel like you can open up about it. Um, to say that the viewer that watches her work um, really has, still has no idea the, um, the talent um, that we observe per take because she brings such variety. Um, and with this character, say at the dinner table scene, she'll, she'll bring, of course, her drug addled side, but there's also the, I could give a shit about what's going on, you know, at this dinner table. Or she'll bring the mean, mean underbelly and the confrontation, and she'll just mix it up. And we never know what's coming at us, and that keeps us on our toes. So it's a, it's a great lesson. Um, um, this is the second time I've worked with her and I'm still learning, you know. <laughs>